stop 33 brings us to Atlanta Motor Speedway for the Napa Know How 500. On the pole at 210 miles an hour, Wes Riddle, the Texas winner, alongside of him, the 23 car of Alex Tanker. Row 2, Matthew Rodriguez and Michael Dawson. Row 3, Jeremy Doobie and Alex Filter. Row 4, Randy Carpenter and Jasmine Acosta. Row 5, John Acosta and Earl Jarvis. Here's the top 10 starters. Then Levi Shones and Ryan Acosta is row number 6. The nice looking number 99 X-Side Batteries Ford Retro 1999 Jeff Burton paint scheme. Car 99, which won at Texas this season with Wes Riddle behind the wheel. He's hoping for win number two at Atlanta this season. We'll see what happens here. The green flag about to rate away for 33 laps of action, and the green waves, and here we go at Atlanta. Expect to see some wild racing action here at Atlanta Motor Speedway. Matthew Rodriguez wasting no time. He goes into the second position. Car number eight, the Snickers Dodge. So look at Jeremy Doobie, six of those of his shot in this four. He's gonna go three wide out of corner number four. Who's gonna lead the first lap? Ooh, that was close. Give it to Jeremy Doobie. He led the first lap. The winner at the June race at Michigan. Out in front here at Atlanta Motor Speedway, the green and white Quaker State Ford number 26. John Dawson trying to take second away from Randy Carpenter. Levi Shones gets into this mix in the 18 car. The green and black Interstate Barriers Retro 95 Bobby Labonte car. Four wide! Now the third, Dalton, Day, and Sasha Dawson touching wheels down the backstretch. Ooh, I do not like this at all here, guys. And finally, Randy Carpenter backs off, and so does Michael Dawson and Sasha. Still in the battle with Dalton Day, the Charlotte winner in the NASCAR Race Hub 500. And we got trouble. Jasmine Acosta, number two in points, has spun Justin Baxter, Matthew Rodriguez. Trouble for the second place woman. Trouble for the second place in the points. Let's look as to what happened here. Look at that, they were three wide, four wide right there. Jasmine Acosta hits Matthew Rodriguez, and all of a sudden he gets hit by Justin Perry. Boy, look at Justin Perry in a 20. This season I've seen a lot of more Joey Chitwood stunts than I've watched on TV. I mean, seriously. Justin Baxter spans right there. Boy, this season for the Castle GTX Cup Series has, like I said, seen more stunt. I've, I've watched on TV, particularly, like I said, the types Joey Chitwood does. On board with Justin Perry. I want to see this in, in car, guys. This is going to be fun to watch. And amazingly, after nothing, after all that, Justin Perry is still on the racetrack. He is still going to make a go for it. After that ride, and he is still on the lead lap, I believe. No, he's one lap down. So I, I thought, if, I thought if, he was, if he was still on the lead lap, I thought that was going to be amazing. Anyway, it's Jeremy Doobie out in front, and John Dawson second, Levi Shones, Dalton Day. 
and John Acosta, the top five in this race, and Sasha Dawson, Alex Filter, Dominic Jarvis, Dougie Shears, and Michael Dawson, the top ten in this race. Justin Perry will start alongside Jeremy Doobie, so lap traffic inside of the of the lead lap cars may make a recipe for one heck of a wreck, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Jeremy Doobie will lead him down. The pace car is ducked off on the pit road. The green flag waves. Once again, we're on lap number nine. Eight in the books, 21 to go, or eight, 25 to go, excuse me. Sorry for the math. Jeremy Doobie. Out in front, John Dawson, the golden uh, in the golden white. Miller High Life Dodge running in second position, or not for long. He's going for first place, and he's got it. Dalton Day. Looking for a second spot. Three wide for the number two position between himself, Levi Shones, and Jeremy Duby. And now Dalton's got the help from Sasha Dawson in the 75. John Dawson, the winner of the Air Guard 400 at Richmond, Virginia. A lot of people thought he would never win a serious race as long as he's driving, but Richmond, Virginia proved us wrong. He leads the lap, but when they get to turn number one, it's going to be Dalton Day out in front, car 17, with Sasha Dawson. And Alex Filter playing freight train now, but not for long, because look at Sasha. The Sasha Dawson, the gal who won it from Kansas, and she doesn't hold a lead for long, because look at Alex Filter, three wide, who leads the lap? Alex Filter does. Three wide, four, almost four wide for the lead. Oh my gosh. Bout had heart failure right there. I, I, thought, Al, I thought John Dawson was going to try to go to the inside and make it four wide out of corner number four. Now Alexander, Alex Filter has the lead now. The man who won at Watkins Glen. Dougie Shears making a race out of it. He's going, he's going for second position now. Randy Carpenter in the 71. He's right in this mix too. Michael Dawson, Russ Batson, John Dawson's in it. And of course, Sasha Dawson and Dalton Day. But look at Randy Carpenter, car 71. He goes to third spot now. Three wide for the number four position now. Boy, just some great racing going on here at Atlanta Motor Speedway. Racing as it was meant to be here in the Castle GTX Cup Series, I guess you might say. And at 210 miles an hour, that was the pole speed for this race. Jeremy Doobie trying to claw his way back through the contention here. He went to the inside of Levi Shones, but Levi got the momentum out of turn number four. And he holds on. This is for the 10th position, I believe it is. But speaking of Levi, he's making an inside lane work for him. He's picked up two spots from John Dawson and Sasha Dawson. Or John Acosta and Sasha Dawson, but John Acosta in the seven. Making an outside lane work for himself, too, in the Xerox Ford. Slow Justin, a slow Justin Perry. Right there. Halfway through to going now, 17 laps in the books, and 16 left to go here at Atlanta Motor Speedway, the Napa Know How 500. Getting down to it here, Alex Filter out in front, 
Randy Carpenter runs in second position. Third is Michael Dawson. Fourth, Russ Batson. Last lap for Alex Smith are 207.789 miles an hour. But Justin Perry's gonna hold him all up in the number 20 car if he don't get out of the way. Alex Smith gets away, gets a, gets by with ease, and Randy Carper gets hung up on behind Justin Perry. That's gonna hurt Randy's chances for a win. And now all of a sudden it's just Alex Filter and Michael Dawson, one and two right now. But several cars also got by the slow car of Justin Perry very well. Just Mike, just Randy Carver is the only one that's got hung up in the behind. Look at Michael Dawson, car 30. He's going to... Trying to make that Pontiac work eater lane that's necessar necessary for him to pass Alex Filter. This time by will be 12 laps remaining here at Atlanta. Michael Dawson to the inside of Alex Filter. Nothing doing. The wins Kmart Chevrolet. The purple and white 83. Out in front, Russ Batson trying to join the fight. He's in third position right now. Look at Michael Dawson to the inside of Alex Filter. He's going to try for the number one spot. <clears throat> and here comes Michael. No. For Alex Filter still keeps the lead, but look at Russ Batson like a shot out of a cannon. To the inside of Michael Dawson, Russ going for number two. But Dalton Day, he's in this mix, and so is Dougie Shears and John Acosta. John Dawson is back in this mix too. Russ gets a side draft off Michael Dawson, and he takes the number two spot away. But look at Dalton Day. He's flying right now. Ten laps to go here at Atlanta. We may be in for one heck of a finish. But it's projecting things maybe a little, just a little bit too early. Dalton Day up on the high side. Three wide for the... I thought we were going three wide for the second spot. No. Slow carp ahead. Jacob Rodriguez in 10. He's had a hard second half of the season thus far. Russ Batson closing right on Alex Filters. They come down in the third and fourth turns now. Russ is closing up. Eight laps to go. Out of corner number two. Look at Russ Batson, all over the back bumper. Dalton Day's all over the bumper, too. In car 17, he runs third. Chevrolet in first, the Ford in second. Chevrolet in third, you got a Ford in between the Chevrolet sandwich. And Dodge running in fourth position with John Dawson. Russ Batson to the inside of Alex Filter. Filter making it hung up by Jacob Rodriguez, he does! And Russ Batson to the lead with Dalton Day. He flying by in second position. Alex Filter got hung up behind Jacob Rodriguez, and he's not going to like that at all. Now can Dalton Day catch Russ Batson? Batson to the lead, but I, yeah, I think Dalton Day he might have time. There are seven laps to go. Or excuse me, six laps to go, actually. It'll be five when it comes to the strike. But another lap car right up ahead. Justin Baxter to five. He's also a slow car. He's going to go by with ease. Russ Batson will. So will Dalton Day. Maybe. Ooh. Dalton Day got close, but Dalton closed in on Russ Batson. Levi Shones moves in the third spot.
As I said, another one of it's a classic battle of makes. Ford in first, Chevrolet in second. Who will win the Napa Know How 500? Four laps remaining. Russ Batson in first. In the second is Dalton Day. Going for a second win of the season. Levi Jones, he's closing in. He's going for his first. Russ Batson looking for his second. The number 88, Ford Quality Care. Ford Credit. Ford Muddy Car. Dalton Day to the inside. Here comes Dalton. Dalton Day to the inside. Chevrolet to the inside of the Ford. Out of the second turn, they are side by side. Two laps to go this time by. Levi Jones trying to figure out who he wants to help. He's going with the Chevrolet of Dalton Day. But Levi Jones, you know, he wants that first win. Two laps to go. And a slow car, Justin Perry. And whoa! Dalton Day's hung up behind there. Out of the second turn. And now, the, now Dalton, and now Russ Bassett's hung up behind Justin Perry. That has, that has allowed Levi Jones to close up on Dalton Day. Here comes our old Jarvis for the number two spot. Coming to the line, white flag, one more lap to go. Three wide for second. John, the, John Dawson to the inside of Earl Jarvis and Levi Jones. That's good for Dalton Day because that's going to allow him to pull away. Half a lap remaining. He won the NASCAR Race Hub 500 at Charlotte. And now, the Napa Know How 500 belongs to Dalton Day. He's done it for the second time this season. Say, Dalton Day's telling this car, where were you when I needed you in the first of the season? Whew. Two wins in the last three races for Dalton Day. Apparently they found a combination maybe for season five. Great racing here at Atlanta Motor Speedway. Average speed, 165.799. Dalton Day, the winner of the race. Earl Jarvis comes home second. A good run for him. And then comes John Dawson, Dougie Shears, Le Levi Jones in fifth. Alex Filter, Josh Osborne, Trent Dunham, Russ Batson, and Wes, and Wes Riddle, the top ten. Then John Acosta, Dominic Jarvis, Alex Tanker, Mike Becker, and Randy Carpenter, the top, num the top 15. And on down the list there, Ryan Acosta, Alexander Jones, Michael Dawson, Jeremy, or Mike Doobie, and Eric Matthews, the top 20 in this race. And championship leader Morgan Carpenter comes home 23rd. And with Jasmine Acosta finishing 40th, that's going to extend the lead possibly for Morgan as, as we have now three races remaining after this race here at Atlanta. And there's the winner, Dalton Day. He has pulled it off here today at Atlanta Motor Speedway. And there's the points as they are right now. Three races remaining. Morgan Carpenter leads Lisa Shears by 72 points. Jasmine Acosta slipping back to 110 behind in third. Then Russ Batson, Ryan Acosta, Alexandra Jones. Then Eric Matthews, Earl Jarvis, John Acosta and Mike Doobie, the top 10, and on down to Alexander Dawson in a 20th position. Mike Becker up the 19th in the points right now. Zed Weinstein down in the 21st position. And on down the list here, Dalton Day actually moves up to the 28th position in the points because of those two wins. Five top fives and eight top tens. But anyway, next race on the tour will be at Phoenix International Raceway, the Subway Fresh Fit 500.